Welcome everybody, I'm Justin Freeman from RunTheSims.com and today we're going to be talking about a very critical concept in the world of sports betting known as expected value. Expected value, better known as EV, is a way of telling whether or not we're getting our money in good or whether we expect to be slowly bleeding money away to the sports books and that's something we really don't want. What exactly is expected value? It's basically a measure of whether we would expect to be long-term winners or the sports book would be long-term winners for a single bet. In other words, if we got to repeat that bet over and over and over and over again, who would be on the more advantageous side, us or the book? We are enemies after all, and we want to be on the right side of taking their money, not the other way around. So let's take a hypothetical example. We've all flipped coins before. We know heads 50% of the time, tails 50% of the time. So we have a very good understanding of exactly what fair odds should be for heads versus tails. Now imagine a sports book put a line out there of minus 105 on a coin toss. You get to pick heads or tails, your choice, but you got to pay minus 105 for that price. That's going to be a bit of a problem because we know that should be a plus 100 or a pick em line, meaning that it would pay out just as much as you put in. So minus 105, we're having to lay a little bit extra in order to get that even money type payout. And that's not fair to us as betters. Now imagine the exact opposite situation. They put out a plus 105 line for something that has a 50-50% chance of happening. We want to be smashing that all day long. Even though there's no real advantage to knowing whether it'll be heads or whether it'll be tails, we do know that the odds are in our favor if we can get plus money on a situation that is actually 50-50. So we'll head on over to our expected value calculator tool over on runthesims.com slash wagers. Let's pull that up here where we can type in our wager, the available odds, and what we know the win probability to be and be able to tell whether we are in plus or minus expected value situations. So let's just say we're big ballers. We want to throw 100 bucks here on the coin toss. We would put that up there. And let's imagine we're, we're, we've got a bad situation here where the sports book is laying minus 105 odds in this situation. And we know there is a 50% win probability. We would keep that in exactly like this and find out that we actually have an expected value of minus $2.50 for this particular bet. We want to stay away from any situation where we are going to be getting negative value, negative expected value. That's no good for us. So what's what would we do in the exact opposite situation where the sports book has a plus 105 line sitting out there? Well, now our $100 wager is worth two dollars positive expected value so obviously we'll be getting the hundred dollars back and we're expecting to make another two dollars on top of that because we are getting odds that are greatly in our favor so expected value is simply comparing the odds that you are getting at your sports book versus what we understand the win probability to be now granted we don't always have such pristine knowledge as knowing whether a coin flip is going to be heads or tails world sports betting is a bit more gray However, at runthesims.com, we are trying our best to make that, those numbers more realistic for you so you have an idea of exactly what you're up against in each and every bet that you're making, have an understanding of whether you are getting it in good or not, because measuring that win probability is a very difficult thing to do correctly. However, we've got a really good approach to nailing that down specifically for player props. So be sure to check us out over at runthesims.com slash wagers where you find all our betting tools. Hope you'll subscribe today.